screen recording of the Concept Builder Current, which is due Wednesday, April 8th at 3 p.m. I'm going to go through one example of each of the three parts. You have to complete two of the three parts for an 8 out of 10, three out of the three parts for a 10 out of 10. Um, if you aren't able to get that done or aren't successful as you'd like to be by the deadline, let me know and I can see if I can extend that. I think I can now. My goal would be for you to persist if you have trouble, but at least I want to put a deadline on it initially. So here we go. I'm on my old computer, a little bit slow. And it is thinking about it. I'll use this name. I'm going to start. And again, I'm going to do one of each of these. So <clears throat> don't forget to help me and the directions if you need to. Um, you can also escape this and go back to other parts of physics classroom at the same time and in a different tab. So this diagram says uh, shows a circuit with a three cell battery and two light bulbs. All light bulbs are identical. Starbursts, which are these things, are drawn around the bulbs to indicate relative brightness. Uh, in which case the starbursts are the in which case are the starbursts correctly drawn? That should be a question mark. So we're focusing on these. Tap on the diagram to select. Well, here, if I've got two in series, I absolutely can't have them be different brightness. So we think of conventional current as coming from the positive and going to the negative, but that doesn't mean that the bulb you hit first is brighter because the current's the same everywhere and it said the bulbs are identical. So this one's got to be correct. And that away it is. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to the second part of this and do one example with that. going to be my same name again. And for this one, instead of fundamentals, I've got case studies. So in this case, uh, it shows a three cell, one bulb circuit. Bulb brightness and current is represented by the starburst and arrow tails. So the indication is, is like here, more arrow tails means more current. Here, that means less current. These indicate the same current. Uh, which case correctly represents the bulb brightness and current in a three cell two bulb circuit? Well I know that the brightness has to be the same for both because it's in series and the current's the same and it says the bulbs are identical. So this could be okay, this could be okay, this can't be okay. I also know that the current through here is going to be less in a two bulb circuit than in a one bulb circuit, which is what we're comparing things to up here. Why? <clears throat> well, because two bulbs, each of the bulbs has resistance. So I don't know if I would call this, I mean, these are equal to each other. I don't know if I'd draw only two starburst type things out of it, but this seems to make more sense to me that I have less current than I did up here with only one bulb as a resistor. And once again, that should say that away. And I am not going to continue because I'm going to go back and do one example of the third one. So in this case, I think that's going to be putting it all together. and the lawbreakers. Now, these are actually really good. I would strongly encourage you to try this one. Um, so this represents bulb brightness and starburst bursts and arrow tails Use it to represent the amount of current. Give attention to the relative brightness of bulbs, to the relative current in the wires, and to the current direction. So all those things are there. Select any diagrams that are incorrect in helping convey a concept. So there can be one or two of these. Maybe there's some with all three, but I haven't seen that, that are incorrect. So here I want to take a look. This seems correct so far because it's got current leaving the positive, which is by convention, 
heading toward the negative. It has each of these starbursts being the same brightness. So that seems reasonable. This one over here has current leaving the negative terminal and heading to the positive. Everything else is the same as this one, but that is incorrect. So notice the bars over that. This one doesn't make sense because although I might expect a bright starburst or bright bulb with only one bulb, it shows the current going here, going like basically clockwise, and the current here going counterclockwise. So those are going in opposite directions. That does not make sense. So I'm thinking just this one is the only one that's allowed. And that is correct. And notice now I'm going to come up with a different scenario. So that's an example at least um, for these. These are due um, Wednesday at 3 p.m. If you have questions, don't hesitate to stop in um, on either the Monday or Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. Um, uh, what is it, the thing we did? The Google Hangout, sorry about that. All right, that's good.